from Springfield, Massachusetts, you're watching the ESPN High School Basketball Showcase at the Spalding Hoop Hall Classic. That's the Basketball Hall of Fame. We are at the birthplace of basketball. Blake Arena at Springfield College, standing room only for a Titanic high school matchup. Number one, Montverde out of Florida. Number seven, prolific prep from Napa, California. It is a busy night here at Hoop Hall. We saw Archbishop Stepanak knock off Don Bosco moments ago in a matchup between the top two point guards in the nation. Still to come on ESPN Plus, Oak Hill and Brewster Academy. There have been 32 games across five days here at Hoop Hall. As we welcome you courtside along with Paul Biancardi, I'm Ted Emmerich. There are no games with more buzz than this one. When you have college coaches and NBA scouts in the building, you know it's a big game. It's not hype, this is real. It's gonna be a big time matchup. 12 ESPN ranked players in the game, including the number one players in the senior and junior classes. Cooper Flagg headed to Duke, the number one player in the senior class for Montford. AJ DeBonso, the number one junior with prolific prep ball. He's number one in the junior class. This guy owns natural skill. He's an elite athlete, and he has the DNA to create his own shot and to make his own shot. He is excellent at finalizing a play. This guy's a combination of talent, elite athleticism, and maturity. On the other side, Cooper Flagg from Montford. He's a do-it-all prospect. He can impact the game without scoring. Shot blocking and passing are his specialties, but what makes him different is he plays with an effort and an edge that you just don't see in a lot of players today. He'll play next season at Duke for John Shire. It was a show during warm-ups for Flag. He went behind the back on a jam. Everyone had their phone out here. Sell-out crowded Blake Arena as we check out the starting five. And I mean, it's an all-star team at the high school level, as it usually is for Montford. Asa Newell headed to Georgia, Derek Queen one of the top undecided players in the senior class. For prolific prep, joining DeBonza also the number one sophomore in the country. So, Paul, this matchup is historic. Never before on ESPN have we had a game in which we've had the number one players in the senior, junior, and sophomore classes on the court at the same time. Major roles for this team. And Tyron Stokes just plays the game with so much force and energy. He's a great passer, slasher. He needs to come up big tonight. Great size, 6'7", strong. He can knock it down from deep. And flag. Got a piece of that one. Tyron Stokes from distance. Queen on the inside. Soft touch. Kevin Boyle wants him at a 10. DuBonzo, the number one junior, off the mark. Prolific still scoreless, almost midway through the first. McNeely banks in a three this time. Right now. And, and you understand it when you see the game. They just stand out with their unselfishness, their athleticism and skill. Winter's great ink at Oswego, Oregon. Oh, McNeely wants another. In and out this time. He buried a couple to start. And Prolific's not a great shooting team, so they need his three. Oh, Grady again! In fact, these teams play a lot like each other. They want to go up and down. They pound the glass. They attack you off the bounce. DeBonzo over flag this time for his first basket. Here's Stokes against McNeely, the number one sophomore in the nation. Got past Queen and couldn't finish. Flag on the break. Oh! This at the rack. Make sure that gets a hashtag. Sports Center top 10. The first points of the night for Cooper Flag and Winters Grady. Classified to the junior class. Here's Sherrell for the stuff. Sherrell headed to Alabama, and Prolific is on top. Safino, when he went to Montford, he was not on any of the NBA draft boards, obviously as a high school player. And he really worked his way up. Oh, wow, Liam McNeely. I'm so excited right now. We may see Liam we McNeely are. in the league someday. The size, the tenacity, the jump shot. This young man has really worked his way up into the charts, a top 15 player in the class. Mikey Lewis getting free against McNeely, and a soft bounce of the ball. Nice curl. 
But McNeely couldn't gather in the pass, tipped away. Here's Lewis. Oh, over the length of Asa Newell. That's a tough finish. Prolific prep. Never runs out of gas the whole game long. He's one of those guys who has to take himself out of the game. Robert White, the third, cans a three. He's going to leave this gym with more scholarship offers. Wright couldn't hit. Oh, Derek Queen with a foul. Yes, Queen. And that's hard to do, right? It's really hard to do. Only 25% of guys can actually do that. Stokes, the number one sophomore. The offensive rebound in Zoom. A moment ago, Boogie Flan and Dylan Harper. Diallo, the third ranked point guard in the nation. There's Curtis Givens from downtown. He's headed to LSU, top 50 player in the nation. And he plays so well off of the stars. Curtis Givens, he's had a great senior season. Dubonta, the top ranked junior. Oh, against Flag. Count it and one. He had a great summer going to camps. Jason Tatum's camp, Steph Curry's camp. One of the fastest risers in the ESPN rankings over the last year. We'll see him on the court here at Hoop Hall tomorrow. Uh, 3 Eastern on ESPNU. But first, he makes his announcement here tonight. Prolific down four, final three minutes of the half. And what a find, Mikey Lewis. These stars understand that if you move the ball, the scoreboard will change. Very unselfish. Grady over Newell. All season long. Offers from Cal and New Mexico State at the moment. After the block. Zoom Diallo living up to his name. Flag though with the takeaway. And clear the runway for Cooper Flag. Wright got it back. And he banks it home. I've talked to people. There's not one player that you can say Cooper Flag reminds me of. He's really different. McNeely chases it down. A steal for Montford. And he drills the three. That's what Liam McNeely can do for you. Flag, number one senior against Stokes, the number one sophomore. Flag puts it up. Oh, got it! In the nation. And this game features the number one ranked players in the senior, junior, and sophomore classes. Oh, there's the top ranked sophomore. Stokes missed the first month of the season with a broken orbital bone. He took an elbow to the face in a scrimmage. Has to mix it up against Montford. You can't play one style. Right. Oh, beautiful move around Zoom Diallo. He just willed his way to the basket. Oh, Diallo wasn't looking for the pass from Stokes, and Wright has two more. Very bright future. Everybody wants to use their athleticism. They have to use their mind. Queen. Nice. Sticking with the plague. Yeah. Now that Edgecombe has committed, Derek Queen is the highest-ranked undecided player left on the board. Sherell missed the three. Grady, the offensive rebound, and DeBonza with the flush. Right downhill. Here comes Zoom Diallo, out to DeBonza for three. Yes! All business, a serious player. Three-point lead for Montford, flag. No, Asa Newell, the offensive board. Givens met by Sherell, didn't matter. Final minute of the third quarter. Here comes DeBonza. Oh, blocked by Flag. Sherrill the follow and a foul. Using their IQ and their skill level, and they're playing together as a team. This is just beautiful basketball. McNeely headed to Indiana. Scoops at home. Rising up, and DeBonza hits. Six here early in the fourth. DeBonza. Short, got it back. Out to Mikey Lewis for three. Oh, they run the elevator screen. McNeely, oh, the headband is back on. How many guys I speak to from 10 years ago saying I was born too early. <laughs> DeBonza, a triple. Back in his home state, A.J. DeBonza with 16. Three point game. McNeely on the drive. Oh, and he throws it down. In the down. High, yeah, it's a high level game. Teams care about executing. It's not one on one rag ball. Sherrell with the soft touch. Shop walking machine. 
McNeely, not this time. DeBonso, the number one junior in the country, off and running. And DeBonso is a one-man fast break with the likes of Cooper Flag and DeBonso and Stokes and so on. Queen inside, Montford grabs the lead. And move your feet on the defensive end for the whole possession. DeBonso, oh! Bullseye with a foul! Diallo, DeBonso. And Flag clears it for Montford nearing the final minute. McNeely gives it up. And Given splashes in the three. There's really not enough time to run a play. Down five. There you go. Just as you said, Zoom Diallo. Going to play the trap game. And they do commit the foul. 25. Oh, if you can. Stokes. The kick. DeBonsa. Loose ball. Final seconds ticking away. Who else but Cooper Flag to come away with it? And Montford pushed all night, puts it away. 76-71 over Prolific in their most impressive win of the season here at the Hoop Hall Classic. Prolific prepped through everything they had at Montford tonight. What a great game. But Montford stay tough, they stay true to themselves. Cooper Flag, Liam McNeely, Derek Queen and company. Curtis Givens hit some big shots. This was their biggest test of the season, and they stepped up big.